Well, this is bad news because it means that NVIDIA is going to sit at the top in the high-end gaming graphics card market. Intel is reportedly no longer planning to release high-end gaming graphics cards based on its XE2 ARC battle image GPUs. Sad. Now, this information, according to this article here, comes from a reliable insider who states that the BMG G31 project is or was essentially canceled in the third quarter of 2024, while some dies may have been shipped towards the end of 2024. These are likely for testing purposes only and retail launch. Well, that's not happening and it's been scrapped. So the BMG G31 GPU was expected to be larger than the G21 GPU and that was used or is used in the ARC B580 as well as the B570 cards potentially featuring 24 to 32 XE cores and a 256 bit memory bus as well as 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Now there is still hope because there is an XE3 coming, but the XE3 architecture will be integrated into the next gen Panther Lake CPUs. It's unclear if there will be a discrete version of this. So will there be an XE3 discrete graphics card? Who knows? So the leaker, and like I said, I don't know how much truth there is in this, so please take it all with a grain of salt, previously mentioned that the XE3, and I believe that one's Coin Celestial, and the XE4, yes, XE4, and I believe that one's coin named Druid, they will be discrete solutions. So that does that does offer some hope because we need Intel to stay in this market. We need Nvidia there, we need AMD there, we need Intel. To be honest, we need more than that in the market because the more players there are, hopefully will lower prices and it will spur innovation and technology because they will compete against each other. However, AMD and Intel, I don't know if they will ever compete or be able to compete with NVIDIA when it comes to top tier video cards. But anything is possible. It looks like, at least for now though, Intel is going to be focusing its GPU effort on integrated graphics and providing value oriented discrete cards like the ARC B580 and the B570. And hopefully they can focus on driver support for those as well well. And I mean, Intel so far when it comes to the gaming side of things, they're not so strong. However, if you want a budget graphics card, then you could consider an Intel. I mean, I wouldn't personally go for one myself. It depends what kind of gaming I suppose you do as well, but each to their own. If you're looking at, you know, 2 to 4K gaming, all the eye candy on and playing the latest games, unfortunately, you're going to spend a boatload of money. It's just the way it is these days because a system that can play those games, you're looking at anywhere from three to maybe seven or $8,000. That's, that's if you're lucky and you can get a video card like a 5080 or a 5090 on special. Good luck with that.